Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Shinwas. So in this session, as we are going to discuss, as one technical interview question on a C language. Right here, it is a code. So in this code, we are using the modify operators concept. Is nothing but increment and decrement operators concept. And along with that, so we are using logical operators also. So first of all, we should understand how logical operators execute. Right. See here. So for logical OR operator, so that is here it is a, a double vertical bar. So whenever you are comparing two expressions, logical operators, two expressions. If first expression is a true, so directly it will give the output. It will not go and check the second expression. Only what is the reason? For OR operator, one true is enough to return the true value. So if first one is a true, so directly it will return the true value. If first expression has failed, so then only it will go and check the second one. And in case of logical AND operator, the AND operator means what is a double ampersand. So in this case, AND operator means what both the expressions should be true. If both the expressions are true, then only it will return the true value. For example, just consider if first expression is a false, then it will not go and check the second expression. Why the reason? Suppose 100 expression, expressions are there. If first expression is a false and remaining 99 expressions are true, what is the use? Finally, it has to return the false value that is 0 only. So, that is the only reason. If first expression is a false, directly it will return 0 and it will not go and check the remaining expressions in the, in the statement. So, this is how logical AND operator and logical OR operator executes. Sir, why a compiler designed in such a way means what for fast execution? It is a simple thing. Unnecessarily, it will not evaluate all the expressions. So, directly whenever it is possible to return the value, it will return and it will stop execution, stop evaluation of instruction. Okay? So, here according to those rules, now execute this program. So, first of all, x value is a 5, so y value is 0, a and b. And here, so first plus plus y is the first expression execution. Plus plus y means what? The value become 1 and it will substitute the value because it is a pre increment. First, it will increase and substitute the value. So, first 1 will be substituted and it will check 1 is a true value or false value. It is a true. So, if first expression is a true, for OR operator, will it go and check the second expression? So, definitely not. So, it will not go and execute the second expression. So, that plus plus x will not execute. So, x value will not be increased in this program. And next, so here it is a OR operator. If first one is a true, so directly it will return the true. So, the true value will be stored into A. So, A value is 1. And next, control come to that second expression. So, minus minus y. The so minus minus y means what? Here, y value first decrease and substitute the value in this expression. So, minus minus y. So, here the so y value is 0. 0 value is a true value or false value? It is a false value. So, for logical AND operator, for logical AND operator, if first expression is a false, so no need to go and check the second expression because suppose if second one is a true, no use. It has to return a false value only. So, directly without checking the second expression, so directly it will return the value. It will return that value is a false value it will return. So, B value is a 0. So, after evaluation of these two expressions, if you are trying to print x, y, a, b values, see look at this, x value is 5. So, nowhere we modified that x value because in both the situations, the control never reaches that one to execute. y value is 0, a value is 1 and b value 0. So, these are the values of this program. This is how logical operators and as well as the modify operators executes in the eval in the expression. Okay, so hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you.